Hey guys, today we're going to be exploring how, despite its absolutely horrific and inexcusable nature, Hitler's dictatorship was, according to German law, totally legal. Hitler and the Nazi Party achieved this legal dictatorship by forming local branches of the Nazi Party after the failed Beer Hall Putsch, which eventually saw some members elected into the Reichstag. Propaganda campaigns were used to rally supporters, to the extent whereby in 1932, the Nazi Party was the largest party in the Reichstag. This allowed Hitler, though not immediately, to become the Chancellor of Germany, arguably the most powerful political position in Germany at the time, his power only further enabled by the Enabling Act. So the Enabling Act was an amendment made to the Weimar Constitution, which legally gave Hitler dictatorial powers over Germany. The Enabling Act allowed him to make laws without consulting the Reichstag. Now that's crazy, right? Even crazier when you realise that the Reichstag actually voted in this legislation, 444 votes to 94 votes, with the only party to vote against the Act being the Social Democrats. The death of President Paul von Hindenburg was the final nail in the coffin. With the help of the German army, Hitler was able to combine the role of the Chancellor and the President, and in less than a month, he abolished the office of the President entirely, becoming the Führer of Germany in the Third Reich. There was no arguing it now, he was the dictator of Germany and it was achieved through entirely constitutional means. Thanks for watching.